नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग के मीन्स क्लस्टरिंग अलगोर्दम वी इम्पोर्ट बेसिक पाइथन लाइब्रेरीज लाइक नम पाय एंड फॉर प्लॉटिंग वी इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पाय प्लॉट एंड सी बॉन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट एंड द क्लस्टर सेंटर इज कैलकुलेटेड विथ See this library that is imported from scipy dot spatial dot distance, and we generate synthetic data set from make underscore blobs API from sklearn dot data sets library. As you know, k-means clustering algorithm is an iterative algorithm. It takes two inputs, n training examples represented with m features, and the number of centroids or number of clusters which is k here we set number of clusters to 3 we generate synthetic data with three clusters and these are the points that are generated and each point is represented with two features x1 and x2 let us examine the input data we have generated 100 data points and each data point has got two features the k means clustering algorithm proceeds as follows we first randomly initialize k centroids and note that each centroid is a vector in m dimensional space and then we repeat until convergence first we assign points to the closest centroid and then we calculate the centroids based on the points assigned assigned to the cluster The algorithm converges when the centroids stop changing, or in other words, the cluster membership stabilizes, and subsequent iterations do not yield any changes. So let's implement this algorithm in this particular function, which is a fit function that takes two argument. One is the feature matrix X and the number of clusters K. So we first randomly initialize K centroids. and then we calculate the initial label for each data point so in short what we do is we calculate the distance from each point to each centroid and we assign the point to the closest centroid so that becomes the label for the for each data point then we iterate for 10 iterations and in each iteration what we do is we compute new centroids based on the point assignments to the cluster once we obtain these new centroids we recalculate the label for each data point so you can see that this particular statement is exact replica of this particular statement so here also we find the distance of each data point to newly calculated centroids and assign data points to the closest centroid we check if the labels of of the points are not changing if the labels of points are not changing that means the convergence is reached and we stop the procedure otherwise we continue to iterate until this particular condition is met finally we return centroids and labels so we call the fit procedure with feature matrix and number of clusters we get centroids and labels so these are three centroids that we obtain from k means clustering algorithm next what we do is we plot the clusters obtained through k means clustering algorithm and you can see that these are three clusters that we obtained with k means clustering algorithm as part of exercise you should implement elbow method for finding optimal k as well as the sill out method so in this video we implemented k means algorithm from scratch 